Well, to take care of the, the land and be a good steward, especially here, I mean, we can only really know our, our own zone. I mean, I can't, I, I can't get my mind around the, the bigger picture, the whole planet or the, even the whole state of Montana, but I can focus on what we have here. When I came in here and saw the rock formations and the hills, I thought, it's a challenge, but it doesn't mean that you can't do conservation in the mountains. I love what he's doing up here. I love that he's, um, he's very minimal waste. We had a fire come through here two years ago, and ever since that's happened, he's been utilizing and repurposing the wood and relying very little on uh, the outside world. He has power lines running through the property, but he's not using power. There's a, a big satisfaction for all of us, uh, you know, especially me, to know that we can make our own power and we can have our own water and we were kind of self-contained that way. It started out as we didn't want to pay utilities when we weren't here, right? And then it led to, hey, what, what do we really need to be hooked up to that? From the day we bought this property, we knew that our job was to, to be the proper stewards of the land. And it's not just the trees and the water, it's the, every critter that's on here. This is just a small part of it, but it's, it's a very important part, and I just hope that you know, the generations coming up when they look back and see the things that we're doing, I hope that they maybe take a little piece of what we're doing and apply it themselves. The relationship with Bobcat actually started uh, several years ago, um, all with the mindset of a conservation effort. At some point, you know, we decided that this was something that uh, together we could do that would be a positive message, that would be something that would make the ground better. And I think that's what, to me, that's what Bobcat has stood for for a long time. It was a big surprise when our property was chosen as one of the finalists and then inevitably we, we won the contest uh, because it really was in line with what we had already begun and what we wanted to continue to do but with really, with just the two of us, uh, sometimes the progress can be kind of slow. It's a lot of handwork. We don't have the ability to bring in three semis worth of equipment to, to get it done. The machines that we're using down there, the loaders and the mini excavators, are the perfect machines. They're big machine performance in very tight places, and that's what we need to be able to do is finesse those machines around. All these guys are professionals. Um, they're all uh, incredibly safety conscious. Each one of them has been completely respectful of the land, so we're not tearing up areas that aren't necessary. We're not uh, over-tracking areas. I mean, the amount of work that's been accomplished in, in just a few days is, is incredible. The pond project is obviously crucial to what we're doing here. We're trying to pr provide another water source for the wildlife. If you don't have a water source, it's really hard to make anything work. Uh, fortunately for us here, he has springs coming up all over um, this property and we were able to harness that. As it was coming together, the plan was continually changing. But it really showed how the team came together and gave their input on what they thought would work, what they didn't think would work, and it was definitely a team effort on the pond. With the plot, we're gonna put in a perennial that'll come back year after year. Um, we'll mix in some oats and stuff so there's a good food source there. A lot of times we don't think about it, but there is a harmony that uh, is kind of an unspoken harmony between the land and the animal. If we take the steps that we have the opportunity to take, then we can make situations better. We were really nervous about the 1,800 feet of pipe that we were going to put in. Everywhere you look, there's rocks, and we really didn't hit any rocks, and so I couldn't be more pleased with how it's gone. As far as the sponsors go, everything that comes with the outdoors takes tools, and so when you have sponsors that supply those tools to you, it's stuff that we couldn't offer them. It just uh, takes the project to a whole new level. The improvements that we've made in the last couple of days uh, long term are, are going to be incredible. I know that if we come back here in three years and do a follow-up that everything that we have done is going to be improved upon and none of it's going to be neglected. I'm glad that we have this opportunity to partner and do something like this. It's a one-of-a-kind event and I'm super proud of it. We really want to take care of what we have and, and, and be thankful and grateful that we have it. And you know we do it because it's fun. We don't do it and wake up in the morning and go, oh man, we gotta go clean up brush, or oh, we gotta go uh, take down that dead tree, or you know, it's not like that. It definitely takes dedication. It's a lifestyle that you have to choose, right? And good for him for doing it.